What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the episode of Ford Era. You got me, Solomon, here, and we're in the hotel in Nashville, and uh, we're gonna be loading all this stuff back up into the truck. We're actually heading to Bowling Green. We need to go pick up a radiator from Holly, and then uh, come back out for day two of Power Tour. So uh, we'll see you when we get to the truck. All right guys, so just got all the stuff in the back. Now we're gonna check the oil levels, make sure that, I don't know why I can't get the right one. I think so. There, there we go. go. Oh, Jesus, gosh, gosh. them like springs on that. <laughs> yeah. These hinges work great. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna quickly check these oil levels, check the trans fluid, and make sure that we're good to go. Yeah, she could probably use a little bit. A little bit. Throw a half quart in. And then, uh, that's that. So we're gonna do that right now, and then we're gonna hit the road. All right guys, so we just made it out here to Bowling Green, and you guys can see we're at Holly. And the reason why we're here is, I need a radiator and uh over here we got hunter mr wolf creative and he's gonna get some cool photo and video so i'm gonna clean it up we got some mcguires and uh then we're gonna have some fun i'm gonna grab that radiator so we'll see you guys in a second all right guys i just got her cleaned up and of course snickers had to start puking out coolant but we got the new radiator over here and it's a three core frostbite fb 160 and uh, here's the specs on it. So it's an aluminum radiator, three row for 68 to 79. So if any of you guys need them, boom, here we go. We're actually gonna drive back to Nashville now and then get this installed because I also need to get an upper and lower radiator hose and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so we'll see you when we're back on the road. Thank you. All right, guys, so we got the radiator, and uh, right now we need to go do a top secret tour we can't show you, so no cameras allowed. But we're gonna put this in the truck, we're gonna go see what's in here, and then we're gonna head back to Nashville. Yeah, so we'll see you then. All right, guys, we are not allowed to show you too much stuff, but we said I could show you that they are working on Fords, so just stay tuned. So, as you guys saw in the clip, they are working on some Ford stuff, it's top secret, we're not allowed to talk about it, but just know some really cool stuff is in development. So now we're uh, we're headed out back to Power Tour. All right, guys. So we were driving, and we're actually only like 15 minutes away, and uh, we pulled up on this beautiful little lake. So we just wanted to stop and get some nice pictures, and uh, just enjoy this view. This is beautiful. This is what these road trips are about: is stopping to smell the roses. So. Enjoy this nice B-roll. Alright guys, so we actually left already like 15 minutes ago and then I just went to pick up my camera for some view. I'm like, oh shoot, I left it here. And that's exactly what I did. I left it here and not only that, I drove over it, but still works because we're making this video. And uh, that was pretty wild. This man's running over his own camera for his, for his content. You better like the dang video. <laughs> Do what he said, like the dang video. All right guys, I just came over to O'Reilly's because I needed to pick up some of the radiator hoses so we could swap the radiator. And uh, when I pulled up, there was this awesome 78 F100 Ranger Lariat. And uh, I went inside and I was like, whose headache rack is this? And then I figured out whose it was. It's this awesome dude, his name's Martin. And this is actually his dad's truck that he's had forever. And it's from Mexico originally. So it's not for sale. And then uh, we got Snickers. And then Martin had a buddy who lives right around the corner, his name's Matthew. And uh, this is his awesome F26. 
So uh, he brought this thing so we could see it. And man, is it cool. So we got ourselves like a little tiny uh, car show before we even get to the show. Just figured I'd let you guys see what's up. But we're literally like three miles away from uh, Nashville Super Speedway. So next time we uh, see you, it'll be there. eventually get in there so uh, I'll pick you back up when there's fun stuff to show you all right guys so we've been sitting here in this line and uh, pretty much the trucks full-on overheating right now like it's as high as it gets I got the hood pop and I don't even know how far this thing keeps going it is what it is just gonna keep it going hopefully once we get this new radiator in there I'm not gonna have to worry about this but Man, it's this boiling hot right now. And the temperature too. It's like, woo. But we're here, we made it. Nashville Super Speedway, day two of Power Tour. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna head on in there, hopefully soon, and uh, hopefully get cool. found somewhere and it actually has shade and there's no shit anywhere so that's pretty cool now we're gonna go out we're gonna try to find all the four trucks that are here so come along and you're lucky you don't got to get sunburned I'm doing it for you here we go now it probably just doesn't have any cooling in it to be quite honest I think we already puked it all out but it's very possible it's fine it just bled itself and we parked next to this beautiful dense side over here he said this is all original and it's got 25,000 miles on it Look how clean this interior is. I mean, it is absolutely a unit. Too cool. I love the camper shell on it. Heck yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna go find every Ford truck that's still here. Come along with us. guys so i walked up on this super badass patina unibody and then i'm like wait a second is this the one from sheet machinery and it might be what's up boris what's going on man doing good yeah, tell me good. a little bit about this baby uh elio martin's truck he's tied up right now so uh i'm uh, i'm gonna tell you about it on his behalf he just yeah, finished doing a, a six liter an l76 that he uh did the dod delete no that's not an ls motor there's no way is that really an LS, an LS motor. motor? It's an LS motor, dual throttle bodies. Wow. That's a, that's a dual, dual quad intake. I mean, uh, uh, air cleaner with a Holly dual quad intake. Dude, this thing is incredible. And for all of you guys that don't like uh, Fotina, I don't know if you realize or not, but that's what this is, and it looks amazing. If anybody ever needs a good Fotina job or even a blend on some real patina, hit a Boris at Steep Machinery. We're gonna go find the rest of the trucks out here and we'll show it to you.
<laughs> All right, guys, so found Jacob, and he's gonna help us later try to put that radiator in because you've got a service body. I've got a few tools. Dude, though. tell me a little bit about like what you got going. I know we're a Ford channel, but this is so cool what you're doing for everybody. Yeah, so I always wanted a service truck, and I didn't like any of the ones you could go buy, so I decided I'm gonna build my own. And I found this service box on like the back of an old Ford flatbed. Hell yeah. So there's a Ford reference for you. And the whole reason I bought it is because of these drawers. So oh, I just whoa. have tools that Dude, I can that is pull so out. Deep. And like, you know, you keep your tools organized on the road instead of having wow. to dig toolboxes out. Heck you can yeah. just do this. And then you open this right here and you literally have your tools right there. You, you got put a table. whatever part you're working on. Wow. You just work on it. And so it's, it's worked out super well. And this truck five weeks ago was a totally worn out stock 305. And we went through and fixed everything. So Holly Classic Trucks, we did all their like seat cover and stuff. It's got Classic Instruments gauges. Uh, it's got a lot of Holly stuff under the hood. So we legit found this engine on the side of the interstate. What? We found this LS on the side of the interstate while I was driving my El Camino. We rolled it up into the car, sent it to the machine What, the shop. motor was literally just sitting on the side of the yeah, road? Yeah, somebody it fell out of their truck. over and dumped it out because it wasn't what? all scraped up. And uh, sent it to the machine shop. It needed to be bored out and uh, needed a new crank, but put it together and it's running. So a roadside service truck with an engine that was found on the side of the road. It, it seemed appropriate. <laughs> Dude, that is hilarious. But yeah, it's got Holly Terminator X. We have Sniper EF5 fabricated manifold. Obviously the bit mount, hooker exhaust. So much stuff in this truck that just makes it super easy to swap. And I, I like, I'm here at Power Tour just fixing people's cars. That was the whole idea. I mean, that is so and cool because it's like everybody's like, hey, I need a fitting. My this, my that. They're like, hey, yeah. call Jacob, hit up Jacob, get to Jacob. Yeah, I can't bring everything, but I have a lot of stuff in that bed. Uh, and, you know, the companies that made this possible, they stopped that not only helped me build the truck, but they helped fill the bed with parts. So, Auto Metal Direct sent some stuff out for the truck. We've got DEI, which we're in their booth right now. They sent out a bunch of heat shielding stuff, but then they gave me a bunch of stuff to help people who are having overheating issues. You know, obviously, Holly and all their, their brands are on it. And it's really, it's been good. And of course, you know, that patina that's on it, if you look at the hood, it's like it's, it's beautiful. So it's not the, too much, not too little. The guys over at Sweet Patina hooked us up on that. And it's, it's just turned out really good. Um, so we got a bunch of wiring goodies. If anybody needs help, painless wiring helps us out. It's, it's dialed. Awesome. This car, it fired up for the first time Saturday. First test drive was Saturday night. Hit the road Sunday morning to come here. And I haven't really had to do much to the truck at all. Well, good thing if something does happen. Yeah, I got a lot of tools. <laughs> it's a Chevrolet, so it doesn't break down very often. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to Do help you, with the, the truck later on. I know you, you just went and got a frostbite radiator. That's what's in this thing. It's been running great. So. I'm excited to get it in there because I am not excited to keep driving slow and worry about my temps. Yeah. Because we're only on day two and we got three more days and I just want to be hauling. Yeah, that's stressful. That's not fun. Yeah. So. But it's been a great day though. But the truck looks killer. So it it's does. Fine. Even if it was on the side of the road, it yeah, looks good. Yeah, it would still look good. Agreed. Yeah. Gotta love Power Tour. Lots of great people, but lots of killer is. cars. And you actually drive your car and use it like you're supposed to. That's and then you break it and I have to show up and fix it. But yeah. Yeah, at least, you, at least you went out and tried driving it. Yeah, you know? exactly. Instead of just letting it sit in your garage. It looks great in the garage, but it looks better broken on the side of the highway. Agreed, 100%. Well, we're gonna keep walking around, try to find some more Fords and show it to you. What's up guys? So we're walking around and we found this guy over here. Hello, it's me. He got mad at me because he had to buy this car. <laughs> you could say the story it's if you feel like it. In a roundabout way, I own another AMC because of this guy. There was a severe miscommunication that wasn't his fault at all. But I wound up here with a trailer. Empty trailer. Delivered a car. Thinking you were going to get a bunch of Ford cabs. And then realized, oh, he's going to be gone. <laughs> then I learned that he's here where I am. But either way, I now own a Concorde that's been perfect to me all week and I've had air conditioning at 25 miles I'm kind of jealous, gallon. honestly, because I'm getting are. like 15 miles to the gallon and no air conditioning, so. And you've probably spent like a week preparing it or something? Just Sunday. Oh, okay, yeah. Then we're on par there. How's this? That's great. 
But we still gotta get you to come out over there to Saudi Daisy. I know, that place is wild. Did you get everything moved? No, luckily <laughs> I'm allowed to leave it there now. Oh, you rented it, yeah, awesome. For a little while. That's good, that's a lot of stuff. Dude, I went there thinking I was gonna make a video only. You know, maybe go home with a couple cars, trucks. Nope, didn't work out that way. Lot. Yeah. Dylan, Dylan said he bought one, a Dodge off the lot. I don't know if he made that public, but I guess you did. Oh, Dylan didn't say anything. We'll take that out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to take that out, but anyway, we're going to turn this off for more secrets get out. So this is a big part of what Power Tour is about. People get their stuff broken, and then other people help them fix it. What do you, do you need Life continuity? Power tour. What do you, Life do you power tour. You got lucky you found Luke and Kevin in the same spot. He's getting the factory treatment, the luxury treatment. Yep, and then Jacob pulls up with all the parts. Yeah, all the tools. <laughs> all right, check this baby out. Hey, if you can't scumbag people into doing burnouts, you're not doing it right, all right? I'm not having a camera. You put a camera in people's faces, they'll do anything you want. Hey, he came here and was like, hey, why is nobody doing that burnouts? That is true. He even offered. He drove up and was like, why is nobody doing burnouts? That Which means that he wanted to do a burnout for everybody on YouTube. He just wanted the excuse. He wanted the excuse. He wanted the excuse. And we gave it to him. Cool. Yeah. I'll get it straight, don't worry. I mean, it's not, it's okay, too. Well, Kevin never puts his stickers on straight. Just do the ones on my fenders. It is a shitty sticker, that's pretty really retarded. Try it. It'll come off. I bet For you. good luck. You know what I bet you? Those happen. don't add horsepower. They add reliability. That's honestly, I'd rather reliability than horsepower. I agree with Every that day completely. of the week. I always tell that to people. You put the sticker on it. Because the more the horsepower you get, the less reliability you have. It's oh, I very never true. I'm going to steal one of those from you. I bet you went. We went from one truck or car that broke down to another. So now we're over here getting this cutlass going. Jason. So we'll get a uh, Patreon call. Nothing but fun. All right, guys. So uh, the track is all done. The show is over, and they want us to leave, and we couldn't get all of the cars fixed. So I let Jacob push that and get up, and uh, pull that cutlass. All right, guys. So uh, we just came over here, fueled up. I have to put 17 gallons in. And now we're gonna go back to the hotel and Jake is gonna help swap out the radiator. And you look excited. We're gonna make this thing nice and cool. I'm excited to get nice and coolant all over my hands. That'll be stuck on there for a week because that's just how cool it is. Yeah. So we'll see when we get there. It is now time to finally swap this radiator out. So what we're gonna do, crank this bad boy. All right guys, so just busted out the new frostbite radiator. Got these and then we got some DEI radiator relief. And uh, we're gonna let this baby cool down a little bit and then start the swap. All right guys, so uh, started draining. With us it was like eight. The things we actually worked on. Getting nice and cool, we got the tools busted out, opened up the radiator. This thing looks mint. And uh, we're just hanging out. We got the boys over here. So that's that. What's up, Craig? Howdy. Having fun? Yeah, I'm always having fun. Yeah. Mechanic Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Come in, coach. <laughs> yep. So we're doing what we're doing. And uh, that's it. So I'll update you guys once we start taking some other stuff out. We got the old one pulled out of here. And you can see them both side by side. So let me grab my phone. So you guys can see it's pretty uh it's pretty messed up in there 
and there's all types of sediment and crack on the bottom. So now we're going to be throwing the new one in and uh, we should have that back in there pretty shortly. All right guys, so we got the new radiator in there or should I say these two fellas did and uh, now we're gonna put the hoses back on or new hoses on. How did that go Jacob? Uh, it's rare that a part is truly bolt in but didn't have to drill any holes out didn't have to do anything Just used the same old bolts that came out of it the same screws that held the fan shroud on and it all literally works perfect that is not a common occurrence. And what's even crazier is Holly had it in stock. Yeah. You... Like literally in stock. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> um, I don't know. Kudos to Holly. Yeah. Shout out to Frostbite for making a properly good radiator. And uh, I will definitely let you guys know how cool it is tomorrow. It's supposed to be like 100 degrees. Snickers is all back together. Everything is looking good. We ran it, bled it, so temperatures look good. We can't really know till tomorrow. And right now we just cleaned everything up, packing up all the different stuff. We're gonna call it a night. And that's it for today's video. So if you guys can smash that like button, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment below, let me know what you thought about today, all the different trucks and just the different things. And uh, we're in for a treat because tomorrow we get to be part of Power Tour. We're going to be driving with everybody. It's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for the next video and we will see you then. See you.